guys, we're going to make our clay uh, footed vessel today that looks like an animal. We're going to start with a pinch pot. So I just have a small piece of clay about as much as that would fit in my um, palm of my hand. I'm going to smush my thumb in pretty deep, but not so much that it's pushing out the bottom. And then I use my duck bill, quack, 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 to make my pinch pot. So I'm going around and around and around. And as I do that, I get more of a bowl and it's kind of rounded right now. It's large enough that I can get both of my thumbs in. Notice they're all the way at the bottom. They're feeling how thick the clay feels in certain places. And I'm trying to make it be even. I want a well-crafted pot. I don't want it too thin. I'm kind of giving it a little bit of a flatter bottom right here. Ooh, my nail polish is not looking great. <laughs> um, I don't want to pinch this area because that will um, make it become flimsy and break apart. So I'm actually pretty pleased with this. It does still have some wrinkles. I have some areas that I can fix up a little. Uh, I do have a little bit of water here in my bowl, so I can just with one finger add a little water and that will smooth it down. When the clay and the water mix and it gets real slimy, it's actually called slip. So, um, and that's just what it does. I don't need a lot of water or else I'll create problems for myself and it will become too slippery. So I think I'm okay for my pot. I'm ready to start thinking about how am I going to make this into a cow. That's my animal I've chosen. Um, I'm going to think about four legs. So I've got another smallish piece. I'm going to break it in half and I'm going to try to do in half again. So I've got four pieces for four legs. I know a cow's legs are longer than what I'm going to make them, but I'm just going to kind of make four pieces that are fairly similar in size. Not quite like a jelly bean, but it's a, um, I'm rolling it and then I'm kind of pinching it a little bit to make four strong legs. Those four strong legs, I'm going to think about where they should get attached. Um, I'm going to turn it over and think almost like a little table. One, two, three, four how they can be attached. Remember, anytime you put clay, um, attach it, you need to do the three steps, score, wet, and weld. I'm gonna score the entire bottom of my cow so that I can just decide to put these on anywhere I want. So this is my scoring step, scratch, scratch. Wet is to add a little bit of water and get that slip to start activating. I'm trying to just kind of put the water where I think the legs are going to go. So score wet and when I put it on, I should probably add a little twist is a good thing to do. So score wet, I haven't welded yet, score wet, I'm going to put on and twist, score wet and twist. Now I'm going to do what's called welding. And what that is, is it's connecting the two pieces of clay. So you cannot even tell that they were separate. You can see now there is absolutely no line that's showing that those were two pieces of clay. Sometimes you'll have to go like I'm going from the pot to the leg and other times you'll go from the leg to the pot. It does get a little more complicated when you get into smaller areas, but you should be able to really connect and weld every single um, one of your legs. I'm assuming you're doing four legs for this demonstration purpose. And if my hands can't quite get in there, this popsicle stick is a great tool so that I also can weld on the, um, inside area here where it's a little smaller. I do want it to be as smooth as possible because anything that's not smooth is going to end up being kind of sharp. Oh, I'm so excited. There's my pot. Okay, it's kind of like a, a body and my legs. 
Now I need to think about how my um, cow's head and neck are going to connect on. So I've got more clay and I'm just going to kind of model. I'm going to think about, all right, if this is the neck and this is the head, how can I make this, <laughs> looks like a camel right now, how can I make this start to look like a cow? From my research, I know that the bottom part of a cow's head is a little like, kind of like wider down here. I'm not messing with ears yet, that's too much of a detail. I'm just thinking kind of head and neck, oh my goodness. Now, if I just stick it like that, do you think it's gonna stay? No way, I gotta score wet and weld. So I would figure out which side it made sense. I think this side is fine for me. Score, wet. This is a little trickier because it's kind of a skinny piece, but I think I can get it to stay. Score, wet, and here's my weld. Now, the one tricky part is that's pretty heavy, so I need to make sure that it's a good, strong, Oh, I'm having a hard time welding. So I'm going to get my popsicle stick out again. And really connect it. And I might need to, I don't like how this looks here. That doesn't look strong enough. Doesn't look well crafted enough. Looks like it's waiting to break off. So that's no good. I'm going to take a little bit more clay. And... I'm going to actually kind of give him a little scarf, but you'll see, here's the neck, kind of around that neck. Now this clay that I'm using, because really I should score wet and weld, it's so sticky, it's already kind of sticking on there because of the water, so I'm just going to kind of roll with it and see. I think it's going to be just fine. So I'm connecting to reinforce to make that neck really good and strong. You know, I'm not trying to make a perfectly realistic, perfect cow. It's made out of clay. And goodness, we're like in third grade, right? So it's not supposed to be absolutely perfect, but I wanna be able, if not from making it with the clay, but from the glaze, I need to be able to know what your animal is. And again, this is the clay that I'm working with today is so incredibly sticky that I'm in pretty good shape with adding things on. It's wanting to stick. We'll see what the clay is the day that you guys are using. Oh my goodness, I love it. You see his little face? It's hard to tell. But I think he's looking, he's starting to look like a like a cow. I would use some details. I think his little nose. <laughs> oh, poor guy, sorry. I gave him nostrils. And I'm gonna work on eyes in just a minute too. I will continue the video with um, maybe the back of the pencil, back of the pencil, point, point. You can see his little face is changing. Um, I haven't made his mouth yet, so I think I'm going to take this. This is the needle tool, and if I really carefully push it straight up, you can see, oh my goodness, it just opened his little mouth. He's starting to pretty, pretty neat come across as a cow. Um, I'm trying to think what else I can do. I should add some spots. Well, Maybe I could use a tool to kind of change the way that spot looks. The, cow's, the texture of a cow is not all that exciting in that he's like kind of soft and smooth, but I could maybe show where I'm planning to glaze with different colors, outline that a little more. I'm gonna keep working on him and get a final photo for you to put into our, uh, PowerPoint, or not PowerPoint, our, our little movie here, our YouTube. And um, I'm pretty pleased with them. Ooh, how about a tail? Score wet weld, right? Okay. Good luck, guys. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Move.